Let's put some uh, necrophage oil on. There's going to be a lot of fighting here anyway. Siren tracks. A very big siren. That's the drowners. Oh, treasure. Bear hides. Maybe this guy's not dead. Maybe what she's uh, piece dragged him in here to have a wicked way with him. Why not got that selected? Burn, babies. What's this? Siren dung. Strange scale color. Not your everyday siren. Uh, the only nitpick you have in this game is you wish the mob scale with you as you level up. They do. Or rather they can. If you go into the option screen and go to gameplay and then select enemy upscaling. There we go. And they'll level up with you. So that whatever level you are, you'll have a suitable challenge from the mobs. I decided to leave that off because I figured it would just slow the game down. And I kind of want to progress through the story. It just makes every every wolf fight a bit more of a, a challenge and encounter. Um, some of the monsters could be a bit more challenging, I agree. I mean, like the big, the boss level sort of monsters. Oh, hang on, let's, uh, let's do that. Oh, they've run off. That's such a disappointment. Screw them. We've still got the trails going out or not? I'm classed as being in combat. Whoa, 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 there's a barrel of blowing up stuff right next to me. <laughs> down okay I think there's a bit more to find in here yet this was this stuff strange scale color not your everyday siren okay I don't know whether I'm going forwards or backwards aha Melusine the mad and dangerous Lady of the Depths. How did I miss that before? Clearly used to be worshipped here. Same scales as on the altar. Malusin cult didn't appear out of nowhere. Echidna's been living here a while. Went into hibernation some time ago, but it's awake now. And it's hungry. Why is there a barrel in midair up there? Okay. Right, now uh, this is where our trail continues. This makes sense. You can't save everybody? Hmm. That's true. And it gives the game a good sort of gritty feel to the story as well. And it makes it more special when you do manage to save someone. I don't think I was supposed to come out here, was I? There's nearby. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Ah, I think... That's him. Nils. Gotta be. Some monster dropped him from high up. Brit wasn't lying. Time for a bit of art, I think. Right, we're gonna knock this thing out the sky. Come here, Melusine. Out of range. Ah, uh, did that just glitch? Damn it! Too slow on that. We just dodged. 
Hang on, I've been poisoned. Hang on. Take one of those. There. That should work better now. There, that's what we wanted. I like that silver. Um, I might be better off with my just my crossbow to knock these things out, you know. Coming down. She gone. Playing hard to get. Ah, damn it. Too slow. Let's just get the crossbow on, I think. No, it's it's like it is it is glitching out. I thought it was. Poisoned again. We have to shoot her out of the sky. Nope, not like that. Hang on. Not like that either. Okay. It, it looked like he was reloading his bloody crossbow. If you crossbow, you won't be able to loot the corpse. It will fall into the sea. It doesn't look like it was working much way either way, to be honest there. Please don't put me back at the top of that mountain at the last autosave. Malusin cult didn't appear out of nowhere. Oh no. A kitten has been living here a while. Went into hibernation So we've got a very ago, glitchy sort of a now, boss fight here. And it's hungry. I'll have to start using bombs and stuff. That gold Noriel potion was quite nice though, and they totally negated that poison. Skip that. Right, get hard on. And then, where's it gone? There. That was a nice attack. And it's time for one of those. Then they come round again. And there. That was much easier. Much easier. <laughs> and then he knocked it off the cliff anyway. Where's the loot at? No loot? No loot there? Loot there, okay. Golden Oreos, you love Oreos. Don't talk about food. I'm hungry. Hey Smegly, how you doing? Yeah, Mikado, that was it. That was a gold Oreo potion. I had it equipped on my um, my bat. I've switched back to water now. Yeah, switch back down. There you go. Superior golden Oreo. Really nice. Very useful stuff. There was something else I saw when I came out of here to loot. There, some bones. Collect your reward from Kevin. And probably not before we do this, I think. Oh, God, there's another mountain range to try and get over. Oh, I've got to come back there anyway some other day, so... Uh, I guess... If only I had a boat, eh? Let's go back and hand this in. We're going to go... We're going to go and swim there. Uh, I don't fancy going either way around this mountain. You're having a Godzilla roll for lunch. <laughs> Why did that get deleted out? Oh, I see, I see. You posted a link. I saw Night, uh, Nightbot went mad. <laughs> Godzilla roll. I'm going to have to go and get some food in a minute. I think what we'll do is we finish this island and I'll go and get some scram then, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to spend most of the rest of my time in Skellige in a boat. I think it would be quicker. Unless Roach is pretty good in the water. Never tried. Never managed to get him into the water. Excuse me. 
Oh, hiccups now. What's a typical dinner for Mark? Uh, what did we have last night? I'm trying to think. It seems like a long time ago. Oh, last night was uh, it was roast beef. Put done in the slow cooker. That was nice. And the plan was to get back and make a salad with it. Yeah, I know, roast beef and salad is not like a typical English dinner. Uh, but it's kind of what we had in. And in the end, we just had uh, hot roast beef sandwiches, which was really nice. But that's not a typical dinner. Typically, it would be... This time of year, we do a lot of salads from, like, spring onwards, just because it's nice. Uh, typical, it'd be, like, something stir-fried, chicken with some vegetables and stuff. Just the chilies. Normally, chuck some chilies in. Throw chilies into everything. It always helps. If I go north from here, this way, this should help. In fact, I could probably roach it from here, could I? I can't ride one of those goats. Faster. What happened to my borrowed boat? I don't know. I left it somewhere. Who's he shooting? Slow now. The out of deer. Leave him to it. What's this place anyway? Is this are we back in town or? Come on. Yeah, we must be. Here, Kevin, I've done a job for you. I want some money. Master Witcher. Found an old echidna in a cave on the shore. Tough beast, but I killed it. So Brit spoke true. A beast took Nils. And killed him. Bodies in the cave. I'll have to fetch it. Witcher, would ye mind telling Brit what happened to her betrothed? Hey, fine, I'll tell her. Fine. I'll talk to her. It's the least she deserves. Feel like a damn fool now, not believing me own sis. Take this. Hard work deserves payment. Farewell. Okay. The trouble is. She's right across the other side of the bloody bay. I'm borrowing this boat. Jumps right through it. Let me in the boat. Game. Put me in the boat. It's just there. There we go. Right, okay. And we're off. Oh, it's damaged already. Maybe this was? Was this the one I had? I don't think so. You love stir fry? We, we, yes. And then we're going to run this guy over again. Right over. Look. Nope, that part of the boat's uh, now letting in a bit of water. It's okay, we'll borrow another one on the way back. They've got plenty to spare around here. They owe me as well. Hell is that? Oh, guards, I think. Need to talk to you. <laughs> Leave me be. Your betrothed is dead. An echidna captured and killed him. Nels. This won't bring him back, I know. But I avenged him. Killed the beast. Thank you. Knew all along he was true to me. And so I'll vow to be true to him for the rest of my days. Hmm. Take this gold. It ain't much, but I want you to take it. That's kind of sad. I could use it, but... Thank you, but I won't accept any coin from you. Why do you offend me so? Don't take it the wrong way. There are things even a witcher shouldn't take coin for. Well, I don't know. I think, I think it would have been fine to accept the money, but I figured she could probably use it more. She's going to go and chuck it over the edge of the cliff now, isn't she? Then I'll go diving for it. Five star wanted level. That would be great. We could have GTA in these boats. Now that would be good. Right, I need to get myself to... Um, a fast travel point. I don't think there's anything else I can do on here right now. I'm not going to go... I'm not going to go searching all these frustrating things. 
the islands I might do, and that I need to go and see. I can actually do that. We're so close to level 23. So, so close. Uh, right, so let's go to that. Sail away, Geralt. Hang on, I need to reverse this damn boat. No! Get into the boat. It's sunk! Has anyone got a spare boat? Is there a... a th wow! Wow! How many, how many goats can I kill? Okay, I've got... <laughs> I thought I was going to summon a monster. Indigo told me it would summon a monster. You have lost coin. <laughs> okay. Note, don't listen to Indigo. Well, what is it? Right, let's get out of it. There's just such a huge horde of things, I just thought. That's just such a good opportunity. What is it you wish? To test out the Igni and uh Yes, didn't quite work as planned. Hey, Tabs. I fixed the game. It was, problem. It was weird. The, the problem was the game refused to open up in full screen mode. And because it was set to be in full screen mode, it would open up and then minimise instantly. So I couldn't even go in to change the settings. And what I had to do was shut it all down, go and edit the user settings in the Witcher folder to change it from full screen mode, which is, I think, full screen equals two, it says, to full screen equals zero. Then I could get back into it. It opens up in windowed mode. And then uh, I tried switching it back to full screen mode. Same things happened. So something's gone wrong with the game. Or it was that driver update from NVIDIA. Uh, but that's what it was. Uh, so I'm playing this in borderless windowed mode now. And that seems to be working for now. But if that starts doing it in that too, then uh, I'm running out of options. Was I, gonna, I wasn't going to fast travel from here after all. That was I was going to take a boat and sail south. Yes, that is what I was going to do. Don't think there's any point in fast travelling. Yeah, that's where, that's where I want to go. But check that island on the way. Let's go do that. I'll go back to the beach. Go back to the beach, steal a boat, and head south. See if I can hit level 23 on this stream. Yeah, it was an entirely frustrating little bug. Uh, but I, I searched it up on Steam and there's a few other people had the same trouble and it turns out there's no boats left because I went and broke the last one. Oh dear, I bet if I meditate one reappears. One hour. Let's see if I was right. Hmm. That's a problem then. Does anyone selling a boat? Right, I guess they will reappear later. But there's no boat for me right now. Shame. That means there's only one way off this island. I guess we're going to travel. There it is. There's my boat. Can't get back to that easily. Uh, we'll go to... I guess we can go to there and get that one. Actually, let's, let's go here. Let's go to this place. There'll be a load of quests to pick up, but uh, we can do that. Get the boat, sail off to that island. Witcher contracts? Uh, the Phantom of Elderberg. A wraith sprung up on Elberg and covered the whole island fog. I've done this one. I can go and hand this in. I can instantly go and hand that one in get paid. Is that him? That's him. Yeah, we did that earlier today. Nice. Instant free cash. Look what the sea hurled ashore. Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skelliger warriors alone drink in this tavern. Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here then? Don't look like warriors to me. More like shepherds. Every Skelliger's a warrior. Even him born in a sheep shack. But we don't expect you to understand. 
Every man's a thrall on the continent. Cringing afore his master like a mongrel whining for scraps neath the table. Is that right? Whoever denies shelter to a traveller disgraces himself and brings shame on his clan. Your dad's teach you nothing. Don't you talk to me about me da, Yorant, or I'll tuck you in neath a barrow. And you remember this, stranger. This here's not Ker Trolda. And we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. Hmm. Nothing like a warm welcome. And that was nothing like a warm welcome. Hmm. You don't mind the occasional traveller? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Jorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. I thought this was going to be quick. We're getting drawn in to some big story. Uh, that is the guy, I think. Actually, while we're here, where's the innkeeper? Is there an innkeeper? Where well, there's an innkeeper, there's a game of Gwent. So just before we sit down, just before we sit down, let's talk to this dude. Well, Gwent cards first. Show me what you've got. Specialty goods alone. But I don't expect a tramp from the continent to know him from tripe. These people are not very nice. The Lonesome World Guide to Spikerug. Spikerug. I don't know how it's pronounced. Uh, what's that? Siege comp... Hang on, that's a... It's a spy. Take it. Not enough coin? Wait a minute. I've lost all my money. I've lost all my money. I've lost 20,000 crowns. 20,000? They fined me all that because I set fire to a few goats? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is serious. This this is quite serious. What the hell is that? Wolven hour. Temporary lows the required level. I'm going to sell that. I need some money. Uh... Oh my god. A master crafted racing saddle. Is that my best one? I'm going to I might sell that trophy. That's Oh, I can't believe. I didn't know that was a thing. Right, we're going to sell as much of this food. And, hang on, I've got stacks of this like lager and stuff. That stuff I'm never going to use. Let's get rid of this crap. At least this is going to generate me some cash back. Um, this is bad. Now, this is really bad. Raspberry juice. There's more lagers down here. Goat milk? Well, at least I got some goat milk from burning them, but that's... Burning those goats has cost me 20,000 crowns. I'm in trouble now. I don't know if I can get that back. I'm assuming I can't. Mark the evil goat butcher. Go back to the save. Uh, I don't think I want to do that. I don't like going back on saves for things when I've done something like that. To be fair, I didn't know it was going to do that. But, I mean, still. Eh. Hmm. Nope, it was my fault. I'm going to I'm going to stick with it. But 20,000 crowns. I'm not going to set fire to any goats again ever. Ever. That was that was bad. I'm not making that mistake anymore. 20,000 crowns. Candy, sell it. And them dried fish and all the stuff I've got into trouble with. I had no idea. really caught me out that my own fault though my own fault i'm gonna try and win them back 10 crowns at a time now a game of gwent how about it where's the bank get your posse and rob it in jingle style i wish we could right we better play with the northern realms we've got to win some cards here oh all that money i don't know what's gonna do with it but i guess i'm not gonna do anything with it now bye bye runes We'll have to find a way of getting it. 
we will. Uh, what cards do I want for this? What we're playing against? Scoyatel is that. Mm, I've got some good cards there, but um, here you can go. That's a good. That was a good swap, and that one. Don't think that one made any difference. Playing a dandelion. Well, that's okay because when he plays a load of melee cards, I'm going to burn them with either my scorch or my other thing. I just have to need. I just need to make sure that I play low value cards or heroes for this. Let's throw out a hero. Hey Tug, thank you very much for the raid and very nice timing. I've got a question for you. Oh, by the way, uh, Tug is uh, an awesome. Let me just uh, go and follow him, folks. Click on his name in the thing. Go and follow him. Um, Tug is an awesome Witcher streamer. Did you ever lose all your money when you were playing the Witcher? Because I may have set fire to a few goats in the village, got hit by a guard, and woke up 20,000 crowns missing. Have that ever happened to you? Because it just happened to me. And I'm kind of crying over it. Yes, yes, it was just, just a couple of goats. That's all it was. Why would I set fire to the goats? Um, apparently, if you set fire to them, you get goat milk off them. And that that is a thing in this game. You got robbed once, yes. <sighs> it was a goat BQ, goat barbecue. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it didn't quite go as planned, unfortunately, that, that little trick. I think I'm going to play my Scorch card while he's got that 10-pointer out. I'm not a serial goat burner. I've never done it before today. I just found out that you could do it. <laughs> yeah, 20,000 crowns. You also got robbed a bunch by a certain enchanter. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm blaming you, Indigo. I, I can't remember what I was blaming you for now, but... <laughs> I'm blaming you. Um, What are we going to play here? Let's see what he does. Let's let's put some siege units out. It wasn't just goats. I was trying to burn other things as well the, the whole stream. Fortunately, I've been taken by the Igni Madness. Yeah, I was robbed, Ninja Queen. Well and truly robbed. Hey, Mark. How you doing? Thanks, uh, thanks for dropping by. Always nice to see another Mark in the chat. Rune Wright is a government employed thief. I'll never know now. I'll never know. I'll never have the cash back for it. What did they just play, by the way? Oh, I see. They got rid of my, my catapult thing. Let's put another one in. So just a pyromaniac. Yeah, just a, just a general pyromaniac. Wow, he's going heavy on the scorches. Okay, let's give him something to play against. I can bring them back. And use Yennefer to bring them back. I think I want Yennefer in the next round. So I'm going to play one of these out. My, what's my, my pointer's going mad. My mouse. What I have noticed is that the innkeepers in Skellige have seriously good Gwent decks. And I'm struggling with some of them. This one might be a bit tight. Yeah, was it? There we go. Hey, Mark, thanks for the follow. Very kind of you. Yes, let's let's see the let's see those uh, fire emotes burning, shall we? Now then, this is when I use the dragon. This is going to upset him a little bit. It's going to be so sweet. Oosh! He didn't want those thirty-six points. He's passed. Excellent. Now, do I decoy it? There's no spies appeared yet. Do I decoy the dragon back? Or do I use... I'm going to decoy it. No, hang on. If I do that... Yeah, I'll still win. I'll still win. That's good. We'll save that for next round. And... Pass. We're good. Yeah, I didn't see those, those fire emotes flying when I was burning the goats and getting robbed. I've never seen that in the game. So, right. 70 hours in, something new to learn. Welcome, by the way, to all of uh, Tug's Raiders. Uh, what, was, what were you playing today? I saw... 
some platformer game. I saw you were, you'd loaded up. Oh, I've got a spy. Let's go straight in with the spy. Nice card. We've got Siri out there. Let's go straight in with that. Might be an opportunity to burn that spy back out. Don't think it's going to matter. No, he's staying away from the melee row now. Not that I blame him. He started with Ori in the Blind Forest and then started Divinity Original Sin. First one or the second? I guess I've got... Which one have I got? I think I've maybe got both of those loaded on the computer awaiting a playthrough. Okay, I can burn out his top card. I'm going to do it. Got one card left. He's not gonna. He's not gonna win this. Oh, we might with that. What's coming back out? Yeah, coming into the safe place. He's dead. Let's just play this out. Let's get uh, everything we can. You can let me play my ability just for fun. That was nice. First 